How do you draw a tangent to an ellipse? How to draw a tangent to an ellipse? Welcome to PA Academy and in this video I'm going to be taking you step by step how to draw a tangent or a normal to an ellipse from a given point. So that means like we're having what we're having here is an ellipse. So if you're asked to draw a tangent from a given point, so let's pick a point. So let's say we are picking this point and let's call that point point y and we are asked to draw a tangent you know from this point how do we go about it so this video is an example too uh, there's an example one where we picked our points from you know from somewhere here we pick our point at the upper right somewhere here but now we are picking a point here i'm doing this example too just to give you uh, a more understanding on how to go about this irrespective of the points that you are asked to to draw a tangent the point that you are given to draw a tangent so if you miss the example one or maybe just come across this example two, you just don't worry just watch along and then i believe at the end of this video you'll be able to to do the uh, to draw a tangent to an ellipse so now that we have our ellipse like i said now there are two things that we need to uh, to note now that we know our points where we are asked to draw the tangents we also need to know our major axis now this one the longer side represent the major axis and for this particular ellipse we use 12 centimeter that is the distance from here to here why the minor axis is distant from here to here which is eight centimeter and if you don't really, really know how to draw an ellipse just check the, there's a description just check i mean the description of this video you'll find the link that to show you, you know how i drew this ellipse you are going to find a link to that video so now what we are going to do is we are going to measure draw an arc from from this point now from this point we are going to draw an arc let's call this point uh point okay let's just let's just call it point a from this point a we are going to draw an arc with a length of half of the major axis now the major axis is 12 centimeter now we are going to draw an arc with a radius of six centimeter so i'm going to measure six centimeter with my uh my compass now this is six centimeter so i'll place it on point a So now I have a uh, six centimeter. I'll draw an arc. Now this arc will touch the, this line. So let's call this line. This let's call it uh, okay uh, line B C. This line from nine to three. You no, know, this is point nine, point three. But let's call it um, B B C. So I hope you can see it clearly. So now where it is touching this line BC, so this touching it here, and it's also touching it here. Now that point is called the focal point. So let me call this F1, and let me call this point F2. So the next thing we are going to do is to draw a line from F1 to Y. That means this point Y is where we are asked to draw a tangent to this ellipse. And then we are also going to join F2 to point Y. So just keep uh, watching this video. Towards the, uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to be comparing this particular example 2 with example 1. Now, I've been joined F1 to Y and then from point Y to point F2. Now, this is giving us an angle. We are having an angle here. So the next thing we have to do is to bisect this angle. And to do that, we are going to be bringing our compass again. So as a convenient length, you are just a compass to a convenient length. You pay point, uh, place it on point Y. So from point Y, you draw an arc on line F1, Y, on this line. The same length, you draw an arc on this side. So now you can increase the length of the compass. Now you place it on this point where you drew this arc on this line. So you are going to draw another arc. With the same length, you bring it to this point, and then you draw another arc. Now, from their point of intersection, which is here, you draw a line to point Y. Now this line is a line that divides this angle, the bisector of this angle. 
Now, this line that bisects this angle is what we call the normal. Normal. So, so if you are asked to draw a normal to, uh, to an ellipse, now this is how you go about it. We already have our normal. So if you are dealing with only normal, then you can as well say that is the end of, of this. But now we are looking at two things. Don't forget, we are looking at normal, how to draw a normal, and how to draw a tangent to an ellipse. So now we already have the normal. You can check this. So now let's look at the tangent. So with this, how do we go ahead to draw a tangent? For us to get a, the tangent, we are going to draw a line that is perpendicular to the normal from this point y. Don't forget, we are asked to draw the tangent from a given point, and the given point is y. Point y. So now we are going to draw a line that is perpendicular. So we are going to be having a line like this, like a line that is at 90 degrees to the normal from this point y. So to do that, you can as well use your protractor. You know, once you just place your protractor, you place it here, you get an angle 90, and then you draw it straight down. That is one way. So, but I won't be using my my compass. So I, I let me just use um, let me just measure two centimeter. Let me just use two uh, length of two centimeter. And the reason I'm using two centimeter is so that it will be easy for you to you know to calculate. The, okay, I'll, I'll be talking about that briefly. So this is two centimeter. Now with the length of two centimeter, I'll place it on point Y. I'll draw an arc on the normal. With the same length, I'll draw it on the opposite side. So with that, that means the distance from here to here will be four centimeter. Since I use a length of two centimeter on my compass. So what I'll do is to measure four centimeter. So you can use any length to you can start it with any length, you know, like this. I use two. So that's why you can use four now. So if you are using three, that means by the time you want to do this, it will be six. So I'm just applying the principle of how to draw a perpendicular line to a given straight line. You know, there is there. I've done different videos on that. You can check it on technical drawing playlists. So now I'll place it here. And I'll draw an arc at the top. I'll draw another one below. With the same length, I'll come to this point. I'll draw an arc at the top and another one below. So don't let the arcs and the this thing to confuse you. So just note your points. So now from the point of intersection here and the point of intersection here, we are going to draw a straight line. Now that straight line will definitely pass through point Y. If all your construction is correct, all your bisection is correct, it will definitely pass through point Y. So this line that I've just drawn is the tangent. So let me write it on this tangent. Tangent. So this is how you go about to draw a normal and a tangent to an ellipse. Now, in the example one, now let's quickly compare the example one and then this example two. Now, if you look at the example one, we picked our points here. We picked our points here. And in the example two, we picked our points here. So one significant difference is that when we pick our points here, we draw our arc this way. That means our arc, we place, I place my compass here, and I was able to draw the arc. That's our arc is coming like this. Now, but in this example two, where our points, the given point is here, our arc is like this. I hope you are seeing the difference. So. Just note that uh, the other parts the, of the ellipse, where you are giving the points, is where you are going to be placing your compass to draw the arc. This is what I mean. We are giving these points, so that means we are going to be drawing our arc. That means this arc from F1 to F2. We are going to be drawing it like this. And But if you look at here, we are, the giving point is here. So the, the one that is closer to it is here. So that means we are going to be having our arc like this. So I believe, I hope that is clear. So if you are, uh, if you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, uh, please click on the subscribe button now. Just click on it. Uh, it means a lot to help this channel grow. To so subscribe to PA Academy. And if you have any question or any comment or any video request, do leave them in the comment section uh, below. You can also check out our website, paacademy.co. paacademy.co. Then, um, the, this is the example one. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. And if you don't know how to draw an ellipse, you know, 
I'm also go like, going to leave a link to that in the description of this of this video. It's going to be showing you how to draw an ellipse either using the auxiliary circle method or the rectangular method. Just check the description, you'll find the link there. So with that, I'm going to see you all in another video. Thank you.